Hey, welcome to Rob's Beer Talk. I'm Rob. Glad that you stopped by. Today's episode is all about guilty pleasures. We all have them in one form or another. Wikipedia says a guilty pleasure is something like a film or a television program or a piece of music that one enjoys despite understanding that it is not generally held in high regard. Now, I don't mind telling you that Shameless on Showtime is a guilty pleasure program of mine, and I may sneak from time to time and have a Krispy Kreme donut, which I've heard has as many calories as a Big Mac. But today we're talking specifically about not guilty pleasures, but guilty pleasure beers. And I wanna hear what yours are. I'll tell you what mine is, coming up on Rob's Beer Talk. Hey, welcome to Rob's Beer Talk. If this is your first time here, or if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and do so. That way you won't miss any episodes as they're uploaded. And be sure to click the bell icon so you'll be notified when new episodes are posted. Today we're talking about guilty pleasure beers, and that's loosely described as a beer that you enjoy, or I enjoy, despite the fact that it's not particularly popular or cool. What we should do is enter the sphere of safety. You ready? Woo! So, sphere of safety. Now, anything that we say moving forward here, anything that you write down in the comments section, nobody's gonna make fun of, and if they do, do we really care? Nah. Uh, just watch this and see if you can figure out what my guilty pleasure beer is. Were you able to, to get it? Did you figure it out? Yeah. <laughs> if you said malt liquor, you are correct. I enjoy a 40, a uh, malt liquor, a lot of times, and I realize that they're not particularly popular or particularly seen as high quality beers, but that doesn't matter. You know, malt liquor really is, is built or made very similar to just a standard American lager. The idea is that it would be cheaply made and it would have a higher ABV, usually between like five and 8%. There's a lot of different malt liquors out there. I'll link a video right here about me heading all over the east end of Louisville trying to find what I was looking for, which was a Colt 45 malt liquor. So I wanna know what your guilty pleasure beer is. I've seen these hams over at a place in New Albany, and I think they're a dollar a piece at a bar. Now, that's a cheap beer, but I don't think it's bad, actually. Maybe that's your guilty pleasure beer. Or, oh man, do not let craft beer snobs catch you drinking Yingling, or Yingling Light in this case, because they will absolutely, mercilessly ream you. But everybody has a craft beer favorite, and we are... In the sphere of safety here. So, down in the comments section, let me hear from you about what your craft beer guilty pleasures are. Here at RBT, we post new videos weekly and also invite you to follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. I've been doing a lot of work over at the RBT Instagram. I think the pictures are upgraded, and that's a fun channel where a lot of things are posted. So, if you want to interact with RBT during the week, the Rob's Beer Talk Instagram is a great place to do it. Remember to like these videos, subscribe to the channel, and share them if you find this interesting, and I'll see you on the next video.